Hey guys, it's Charles again for TweetTown.com. I'm at CES 2014 and we're visiting the Thermaltake suite and Kitty's going to show us some of the new TT Esports products that they're showing off. Kitty. Thank you. Thanks so much. So I'll just take it away from here. The first thing I want to show you guys is our DK branded stuff. These products aren't necessarily new. Uh, this is the Knuckle Keyboard, the Kronos headset, and the Sephira. But I wanted to note it because this is our first full set that we have with our esports team, DK. If you don't know them, they're a very popular Dota 2 team. So we actually had all this stuff customized with their color scheme and their logo and a lot of little things here and there um, just specialized towards them. So this mouse pad is the Pierce mouse pad, and this was actually designed design in collaboration with them. It's 1999 MSRP. We also did a new design on the Sephira mouse where it has their logo on it. And we actually changed the LED logo over here. So it's just little kind of cute things here and there and some nice little um, tidbits here and there on, on, the, um, on the mouse. So for the Kronos headset, we actually changed the logo where it says DK instead of the Dragon logo. So all this stuff is customized towards them. So for Fans who are big fans of DK, or people who are big fans of DK, this is a great set to get. It's, this is um, the stuff that they use, and this is kind of like geared towards eSport fans who can buy it and then have them sign it. We also have uh, the Knuckle Keyboard in their colors. This is actually a, a Maka prototype one, so the one that will be released will have the letters printed on it. These two are actually, the mouse and the keyboard are priced at $39.99 MSRP. So I just wanted to show you guys that because it's going to be coming out really soon. And at TT Esports, we really want to gear towards um, our esport players. And we, ha we take a lot of their input in making our products. So we just wanted to show the community that we actually uh, work in collaboration with them instead of just, you know, sponsoring them. So over here, this stuff is not necessarily new, so I'm going to skim past it. But we did want to continue featuring products that we work with our eSport players. For example, White Raw, and we have the Thera Mouse, which is our RTS mouse. So we just wanted to show the colors that will be coming up in the, the next year. So over here, we have our Level 10M Gaming Mouse. It's not new, but the reason why we have it here is because we want to showcase the new Level, level 10M wireless mouse that is going to be added to the line. The cool thing about this mouse is actually the same MSRP as our Level 10M mouse. It's 99 9.99 MSRP, and it's our first hybrid mouse. It works as both a wired mouse and a wireless mouse. Another thing about the design is it, it's pretty similar, but the one thing that we added is the wire, this wireless transmitter right here also acts as a finger rest, or it could be your ring finger or the pinky, depending on how you hold it. But it's just a little addition so that your finger doesn't slide on the mouse pad or the, the table. So it's a little bit uh, extra support. The cool thing about the top part is it actually, oh, I only have one hand. I don't know if I can do this. I'll just show you like this. So basically for the wireless, it has a cap that protects it and keeps it clean and just closes it off really nice. If you want to attach the wired one, you can just remove this top part, plug it in, and then you can put the, the little transmitter or the, the part for the, the wireless mouse right here, and it'll hold it so you don't lose it. One little thing about the wireless mouse that I did want to mention is that we're actually using 5.8 gigahertz frequency instead of 2.4. And the reason why we decided to ultimately go with that is because there's a lot of interference that you could get on the 2.4 network, so we decided to, or the 2.4 frequency, so we decided to go with 5.8 just to avoid that. Um, also for the, the time that you can use it wireless, it's up to 15 hours, three hours charging, and right now, this is kind of early spec, so this is the first color that we're going to have it in. We're probably going to have it in more colors, but right now it's just the matte black. And you can look forward to seeing it probably mid this year. So I wanted to go over here and talk about some... Well, we just pretty much, this is a Volus mouse. The Volus mouse isn't new, but we wanted to showcase the new colors here. So these are the new colors, and we also upgraded our black gaming mouse. The black gaming mouse is actually an older mouse, but we decided to update and add some new features. So the original one is a matte finish. We decided to do some gloss finishes in two different colors. This one is the Snow White edition with the blue LED, and this one's the black Onyx with the red LED. One of the things that we did change is we upgraded to the Evago Laser, but pretty much all the other features are the same, and it's priced at $49.99 MSRP. We do have one mouse that's completely new, though, and that is our Ventus mouse. And our Ventus mouse is right here. If you can take a look. <laughs> you zoom in and that's perfect. So the mouse right here actually has a very similar design to the Level 10M. It has the honeycomb design, which just pr is good for uh, ventilation. The thing about this mouse is it's actually our first ambidextrous mouse. So it's a mouse for both left-handed gamers and right-handed gamers. The body is symmetrical except for one little key note, and that's the buttons on the sides are a little bit higher and lower. That's just to prevent people from clicking it when they're holding it one side or the other. And this one's priced at $49.99 MSRP.
So below it, we have a new mouse pad, and that's our first aluminum mouse pad. I'm going to remove the mouse real quick just so you can see it. This mouse pad is the Draconum mouse pad, and it's $39.99 MSRP. It's actually double-sided. The side that you see right now is actually the glide side, so this is for the speed side. And you can take off the mouse bungee, which does come with the mouse pad, and you flip it over. And this one is our controlled side. It has a bit more of a, uh, a texture. So the mouse bungee actually comes with it, and you can attach it to either side. That's just a little bit of an added feature to help you control the, the cable for your mouse. And it also has the rubber stoppers, of course, on the end to keep it from moving around. So that's it pretty much from this area. We do have a ton of new keyboards. So if you want to look over here on this side, we have, a new, we have a new membrane keyboard. And this one is very similar to the Challenger series. It does have a lot of upgraded features that we didn't have in the original one. First thing I wanted to mention is the backlighting options. So this is blue LED blacklight. And it has options where you can increase or decrease the brightness. So you can go anywhere from 20% or 20 to 80%. It also has a pulse feature where you can have it breathe in and out. So this keyboard is pretty much geared for people who are on the go and traveling. It's very lightweight. It's very easy to um, just, the cable detaches just like the Challenger. Plug it back in. You can coil it up, put it in your bag, and it's ready to go. This is priced at $69.99 MSRP. It does have the ISS system, and that is the instant switch system, and that allows you to switch back and forth between your profiles instantly. It has up to four profiles and five macro keys on each side. So this is great for pretty much gamers who have a bunch of different games. They want to go to a LAN, and they have all the stuff set up in there. So that's for our, mechanical, our uh, membrane side. Now I want to bring you over to the mechanical side. There's a ton of mechanical keyboards that we have this year. We're pretty much focusing on the Poseidon, the Poseidon we did announce last year. I'm just getting used to 2014 now, guys. So we had that last year. The Poseidon Z is pretty much our mechanical Poseidon keyboard with the backlight. So the one major thing that we're pushing this year is our TT certified mechanical switch five-year warranty. Basically, our five-year warranty is for our switches, and we're, we've been working on developing our own switches with the manufacturer. So these ones are customized to our, um, our special needs and how pretty much we got some feedback from our gamers and our, our eSport players. And we decided to go with our own switches. And actually, I'll let you guys test it over there if you want. We have a Cherry MX and ours, and they're very, very similar. You can't tell. The reason why we did this is because we kind of wanted to get into doing a little bit something else. I mean, we've already done customized equipment and gear with gamers, so now we're going into doing switches. So with the Poseidon Z, or pretty much with the Poseidons, it has a five-year warranty. If anything were to happen, then you can return it. I'm going to talk about the Balmus now. The Balmus is pretty much our high-end mechanical keyboard. This one is an aluminum finish, if you can see it right here. So it has this nice rounded edge that it comes down. So this is pretty much the keyboard for someone who wants a mechanical keyboard, but they want all those kind of bells and whistles, extra profiles, master keys, um, the ports at the top, lighting options. This has a lot of the similar features of the Velox. It has the lighting options where you can go from 20, 40, 60, 80 percent and pulsing. It also has the ISS instant switch system, so you can switch back and forth between your profiles. And it has the macro keys on both sides as well. And also, if you want to look at the top, it has two USB ports and the audio jacks. This is priced at $139.99 MSRP, and right now we have it in the brown switches, but in the future, we're looking to expand. If you look right next to it, this keyboard is actually pretty much on the opposite end. It's your bare bones mechanical keyboard, everything that you need on the go. It's compact. It's called the Poseidon X, and it pretty much is the small version of our Poseidon Z. It has a backlight. It has pretty much everything that this one has, except that it's compact and ready to go for LAN. So if you want a mechanical keyboard to bring with you to LAN places, but you don't want that big, bulky keyboard, this is the best way to go. We offer it in three different switches, brown, red, and blue, and it's priced at $79.99 MSRP. If you want to give it a test, too, here, actually, I'm not sure if you want to test yeah. it out. Sure. Yeah. So there's two keyboards right here. One of them is Cherry MX, and one is our blue switches. Can you tell the difference? Which one's which? Yeah, yeah. Every you know, actually, a lot of people have been making a guess, and it's been really, really hard for them to uh, get it right. This one's ours. Yeah. <laughs> So it's, it's really close. That's pretty much our new keyboard switches. And we offer a five-year warranty, which is three years longer than the standard. You so can hardly tell the difference. Yeah. I can't. I, I honestly, like, I've grown to love blue switches because of this. I primarily like to use brown, so. I'm a green guy. Yeah? Really? Wow. 
wow, I feel like that's a finger workout. <laughs> so basically that's it for our, uh, our keyboards. We do have one small little thing. It's kind of an early showing. This is not a new keyboard. It's just a keycap accessory. And this is a rainbow keycap. It's pretty much a rainbow keycap accessory. It's actually our presiding keyboard. And we're looking to offer this at the end of the year. We're kind of just giving a first look to see what people's, people's opinions are and see if they like it. We're, we're looking to price it at $29.99 MSRP. But that's about so it. Now so now we're going to look at our headsets. The first thing I want to show you guys is the new additions to our Kronos line. If you look over here, we have two new headsets to the Kronos line. This is the original Kronos right here, and these two are the new ones. This little one you see right here is called the Kronos Go. It's pretty much the small, compact, on-the-go version of our Kronos. It has pretty much all the same features. It's PC and mobile ready. It's got the light-up ear cups on the side. It does have the port for the USB and the 3.5 millimeter jack. But the one thing that's different is the retractable mic that comes out of the ear cup. So that actually comes out of the ear cup on the left side. And if you don't want to use it, you can just push it back in there. That's pretty much the Kronos Go. It's priced at $49.99 MSRP. It's $10 cheaper than the original Kronos. We also have the Kronos AD. The Kronos AD is also known as alternative design. And as you can tell from the band, this is the biggest thing that's different. It's got this double band right here with, with that's auto adjusting. And basically, when you put it onto your head, it adjusts as to how it should fit on your head. And that just relieves the tension on the top of your forehead. Sometimes when you use a headset, it sits on top of your head. And uh, for long hours, you just feel a lot of pressure here and here. So that just helps for long-term comfort. It also has a retractable <coughs> mic right here that comes out of the ear cup on the left-hand side. But besides that, all the features are pretty much the same. We wanted to offer a couple different um, levels for people. And this is also PC and mobile ready. And it's got the light up ear cups. So that's it for the Kronos line. So we do have two new headsets that I want to show you before you guys leave. The first one I want to show you guys is the Verto. It's on the other side, so give me just a second. I'm going to grab it. This is the Verto. So as you can see on the table, we have a ton of different headsets, a bunch of different variety. So the thought process we had when we made this is we have a lot of headsets that are geared towards gamers who just need something that's reliable on the go, something flashy. And we also have the Level 10 series, which is a more kind of design aspect, sleek, modern look. So this is actually along those lines. It's very sleek and high fashion and modern. It's got that aluminum finish, but it's very lightweight. It's PC and mobile ready, so you don't have to necessarily use it with just gaming. It's got this microphone that comes down right here. So it's, it's got the double, the double bandwidth auto adjusts to your head, too. So this is priced at $79.99, and we're looking to have this release March to April, a little bit after. We'll call it the spring, the spring of 2014. I also wanted to show you guys our Sabaris. Well, Sabaris is TT Esports' first wireless Bluetooth headset. So this one is actually, well, I want to give a background of this too, because we have so many products. But basically, this one, um, First thing I want to say is like we're all gamers, but we all do different things. You know, some of us mod, some of us like playing on tablets or console and things like that. So when we made this headset, we took that into mind, and you know, we wanted to make something that was compatible for you and other parts of your life. So this headset is a Bluetooth headset. Pretty much anything that has Bluetooth, you can connect it to and listen to it. I use it on my uh, iPad a lot when I play trading card games. So this is great for that. It's great for music. It's Bluetooth NFC ready. It also has a detachable mic, which it's not on here right now, but I'll put it on for you to see. <laughs> Right here. <laughs> Take that off. So it does have a mic that you can detach and use. There's many different ways you can use it. It's very versatile. It's up to 16 hours, 100 hours standby, and three hours charging. And it's priced at 139.99 MSRP right now. Do you want to try it on? Yeah. I'll hold the mic for you. It actually cancels out all, a lot of noise. When I put them on and I put the music on full blast, people were screaming my name and I cannot hear them. So that's pretty much it for the headset side. I hope you guys liked all the products we showed you. If you want more information, uh, we'll have more coming up within this year. But hopefully this was a great look at our products.